This survey is kind of like a way for the Department of Labor to be able to uh, gauge the um, impact that this policy will have on the business community and allow us to see how we can help fill the gaps um, based on what is shared by, by the businesses. Uh, this question is often asked of the Department of Labor and it was something that I had no mechanism to be able to answer. That policy, known as Touchback, takes effect in September and is in force under the Northern Mariana Islands U.S. Workforce Act of 2018. It requires CW1 visa holders to leave the U.S. for at least 30 days prior to the submission of a renewal petition on their behalf to continue working in the NMI. Until I get the results, I, I won't be able to... Um make a, a good judgment to be honest that's why we want to do the survey because you know there will be a big difference in in how it affects uh businesses and, and the economy you know our, our tax paying businesses um and if it's a hundred workers or a thousand workers we will feel the impact and and we want to be able to see if there's anything that we can do with respect to providing a, you know um, access to workers that might have the right skill sets the original legislation was passed to incentivize the hiring of United States workers. CNMI Labor said the survey aims to identify challenges faced by businesses, assess the potential disruptions in operations, and explore strategies to mitigate the adverse effects of this requirement. Uh, based on the information I'm looking at so far, just on the, the few businesses that have submitted, it looks like September is going to be a large uh, a month where there's going to be many people uh, affected uh, versus, you know, other months it looks like September and October have a high number so far. Again, every business is different and because we don't have the totality of, of any of this data, to be honest, um, it, it's, it's a picture that continues to sharpen as people submit their, their survey results. Labor is also monitoring if local businesses are using its programs to support workforce needs. Tomas Manglonia, KUAM News, Saipan.